Tomcat, what would it be? Um, Queen Pat. Take a Tomcat, I can have a look at it. Here's the card. I can do that every time, 10 times out of 10. But what I'd like you to do, try not to be nervous. Uh, in a bit, what I'm going to ask you is, I'm going to ask you to think of a memory. Okay, it doesn't matter if the memory's real or false, but it, as long as it comes to the, when I ask you to think of that memory, yeah. uh, the person that you, you, you're thinking of is a person, when I say, can you see a person there with you, that's the person I want you to think of, yeah? Right. The person that you wrote down earlier on. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so, if I said to you now, and again, we've got nothing set up, and this is just see how you sort of think. If I asked you to pick a number from one to ten, not something simple like three, because there's three of us, what would it be? Seven. Seven, fantastic. And if you've got the reds and blacks, and you imagine the reds and blacks are in the air like this, and you take one of them away, which one would you take away? Reds. Reds. So you've now got the hearts and diamonds in your hand, yeah? Yeah. Drop one onto the table like that, the face up for me, which one would it be? Damn, so you're left with just one in your hand. Right. That would be the seven of hearts. Right, okay. Now, honestly, is there any way I could have known? No. <laughs> so it's a bit of fun, and what, what my job is basically is to look at you and sort of try to work out what you're going to do before you do it. Right, okay. Um, try to predetermine the choices you're going to make. So, for example, if I ask you to pick an object up off the table, I should know which one it is first. Right. If I ask you to put a coin behind your back, I'd be able to predict which hand you'd put it in every time. Right. That sort of thing, just knowing human behaviour. Yeah. If I ask you to think, just think of a playing card, a random playing card, just say it out loud. King of Spades. King of Spades. Does that just pop into your head? Yeah. Now if I said up, the word up or the word down, by process of elimination, which would you select? Up. Up. So it'd go Jack, Queen, King, then up to the Ace, wouldn't it? The Ace yeah. of Spades. Yeah. Now, your, the choices you have is, you can make it more difficult for me by sticking with the up, or you can go back to the King. Right. Which would you like to do? Bear in mind, you could have gone down. Right, okay. So that means that the variables of being the King of Spades, and I've got it right every single time so far, right. would suggest that I'd know what that card is. Right. If you'd have said down, you would have been on the Queen, which would have probably been an easy choice to make. Yeah. Or might have been a harder choice because your favourite card's the Queen. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I want to go up. To the Ace of Spades? Yeah. Could I have known that? No. Turn the deck over for me, fully. All the full deck. Take the top card off and turn it over. And it should be the Ace of Spades. So again, I've <laughs> predicted which choices you'd make before yeah. you made them. So, now this is a bit that's important, because until now I've been quite rude. A little bit about yourself. Right. So you're from Bradford. Yeah. What are you studying at the moment? Um, health and social. Health and social? Yeah. And you're studying it here at Bradford University? Yeah. What's your name, Laura. I'm Pete. Uh -huh. Okay, um, just for the sake of the camera, uh, we have nothing set up. You know, I've not approached you and asked you and paid you to play along with me or no. anything like that. There's no way that you know what's going to happen next. No. No, okay. So, I'm going to do something based on telepathy. Right. And if you don't know what telepathy is, it's basically out of one person thinking of something and mentally sending that thought somewhere else, okay? Right. Yeah. So, the first thing that I get whilst looking at you is that there's several subconscious memories in your mind, right. okay? I'm not going to reveal anything that's untoward, okay? <laughs> Now one of the memories is standing out more so than the rest, and that would be a happy memory. A memory of you at a younger age. If you were to think about it, would you know what that memory is? Yes. Fantastic. Now in this particular memory, I'm seeing you maybe at a first school playing jump rope with somebody. Yeah. Would you know who that person is? Yeah. Yes. What I'd like you to do for me is, I'd like you to close your eyes down for me. Just relax, I promise not going to happen. And every time that you get this feeling, I'd like you just to imagine one of the letters in that name. Right. So for example, if the name was Victoria, okay. you would abbreviate the name to Vicky. Okay. So. And just open your eyes for me now. Fantastic. I shall take this. Now, this person in this memory, completely free choice. There's no way on earth I could know this person or anything about this person. No. Okay. Very unprofessional. Give me a second. I don't even know where I'm from. So you can't plan for stuff like this. I'm looking for my pen. 
Ah, you just... So? Now, honestly, this this is not a lie. These are the memories that you're seeing in your head with this person, yeah? And what I want you to do is, I want you just to imagine the first letter in your mind. Don't say it, but just imagine it. So don't say anything out loud, okay? Don't say anything. And just repeat the first letter in your mind like this. S, 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 S over and over again like that, yeah? <laughs> now I know this is going to sound daft, um, but obviously you were a lot smaller back then. But there was something, was she a lot shorter than you? Yeah. Yes. Did she, there's something about, did she wear glasses or? Yeah. Yes, I thought she did. Now the way that you're thinking of this name, it's not the shortened version, it's the longer version. Yes, I think. Don't look at that, but keep hold of it like that. And nice and loudly, state the person that you're thinking of. Susanna. Susanna. Yeah. Take a look at it. <laughs> Absolutely fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, fantastic. So, can I, what's your name?